guys welcome back it is monday the 22nd and i got up late i got laundry started i'm still in my jammies and i'm about to have some milk and banana bread let me show you see it looks good looks good y'all hear ashley and katie in the background but I'm going to sit here and enjoy this and eat this. Then I'm going to get back to doing my laundry. Okay, so let me enjoy this and I'll get back to laundry. Okay, guys, welcome back. All right, so. Yes, I'm still in my jammies. And I don't think I'm getting out of them yet. Um, okay, so I have done some laundry. I flip here. It's hanging. My laundries are hanging on the rack, so I've done some laundry. There's a pretty baby right there. Right, Chrissy? Are you a pretty baby? Are you a pretty baby? Where are you going, pretty baby? Where are you going, pretty baby? Where are you going, pretty baby? Huh? Mama loves you. Okay, so I did some laundry. I made some I made some more doggy food. I fed them this morning. Then they ran out of dog food, so I made some more. So that's cooling, so I can put it in the fridge. And then I unpacked my new little Instapot Vortex Mini Air Fryer. Okay. All right. I had a choice between the small one or the big one yesterday at Wally World. Um, this one I know was in sale. At least it said sale. Whether it was a sale or not, I don't know. Okay. So I asked Nathan because I was going to buy one. And I was going to buy it one time and one time only. And I said to him, Nathan, you want the big one or the little one? And since we both don't eat a lot of fried foods... And this is actually two hands wide. So, I don't know how full you fill it when you fill it up. I don't know if you're supposed to lay just a layer or you just fill the basket. I don't know. That's a good question. So, being that I don't know, I still thought, I still thought the mini was fine. Because when I once had a a um deep fryer i'd use it occasionally but not a lot and occasionally occasionally some french fries would taste good occasionally not a lot i don't really do french fries at home hardly ever but um maybe some onion rings some breaded shrimp um Fish sticks might be really good in here. I don't know. I, occasionally you get in the mood for that kind of thing. Just occasionally in a blue moon. I mean, if I had fish sticks right now, I'd probably fix fish sticks and mac and cheese for dinner. And I know that's a kid's meal, but you know sometimes you just got to go back to your kid childhood. So we decided we would try the small one since it was half the price of the big one. And we don't think we'll use it as often as I think we would. Because I don't do a lot of uh, frying. So, um, we thought we'd give this a try. I'm going to watch a couple of videos on how to use it. Because I don't know. It's a digital. So, once it's plugged in, all the digital stuff will pop up on the top here. So, it shows it in the picture. Say digital. And I don't mind the digital because my oven, my toaster oven's that way. And I'm, I'm, I'm getting to understand my toaster oven a little bit more. And I do like the Instapots. I do like them. I have the three different sizes just because um, I didn't go Instapot crazy. It's just I had one in the camper. I had one in Florida. And then I had two different sizes up here, knowing I didn't have an oven and a regular oven, a regular stove. I had the small one and the eight quart. 
I don't have the 10, but in Florida, I had the 6 quart. So I currently have the 3, the 6, and the 8. I see no reason to have the 10. I'm not making that big of anything. So, um, I'm curious to try this. I really am. To see how it would do. I think it would be good for chicken nuggets. To get them once in a blue moon. I'm not a big chicken nugget eater. Either. Or, or, or. I'll tell you what might be good. I, I would enjoy these. Mozzarella cheese sticks. Because I've never enjoyed making them at home. Because I don't deep fry. And I didn't really care for them in the oven so much. So maybe this would be nice. With mozzarella cheese sticks. So that might be good. So we'll have to find out. We'll have to go to the store and buy some mozzarella cheese sticks to put in the air fryer and see what we think. Yeah, we will. So I think I need to watch a couple of videos on how to use this since I'm going into... Tomorrow I'm going into Owensville. Tomorrow. So... Went to Mount Sterling yesterday. Going to go to Maysville in a week or so. Been to Moorhead. So, maybe when I go into town tomorrow, um, I will. I can go every di different direction, go to a different town. Sir, so, I'm like in the middle of something. So, I'm going to um, maybe pick up something to put in the air fryer. We would have thought about it. I would have gotten cheese sticks yesterday when I was at Wally World. But I was on a mission to get shelves, which we have not brought in yet. Nathan's asleep because I think he was up most tonight. I got to think about lunch here in a minute, so I think I'm going to make myself a little personal cheese, pepperoni cheese pizza. I think that's what I'm going to fix myself for lunch today. A small one. A small one. Almost like a flour tortilla size. But I think I'm going to make that for lunch in a minute. And then sit back and it's a thin crust one, so I think I'm gonna sit back and uh, watch a little TV. I'm staying in my jammies, so let me put you on hold while I get stuff out to make a little thin pizza and go from there, okay? Okay, you guys, you get these at the Dollar Tree, you get two of them, and they're just they're small, so they're not real big. So I'm gonna make a little personal pan pizza. How do you open them? Oh. Once you open them, you open them. There's no resyllables. Okay. That's nice to know. That's nice to know. Gotta get a pair of scissors. A, like a cake pan from Dollar Tree. So, and I'm all fancy. I I had this open, so I'm not gonna traditional just pasta marinara sauce or whatever. I'm not gonna open a can of pizza sauce just for this since this is already open. So we'll spread some of that around. Make a pizza for lunch. Gonna make me a thin cheese pizza for lunch. I do not like a lot of sauce. The ex used to like a lot of sauce. I did not like a lot of sauce. Still close when I'm saying that. Ah, right, so we're gonna put a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of cheese on it. A little bit of cheese on it. Just a little bit of cheese to start with. Then we're going to start putting the pepperonis on it. Oh, we got to cut the pepperoni too. Got to cut open the pepperoni. Yeah. Oh, 
All right. Pepperoni time. Just going to place some pepperonis around here. I like these pepperonis too, this particular brand. It is. Save a lot. Don't fall. I don't want to be picking up pepperonis off the floor. No, I don't. I know the dogs would like that, but I don't want to be doing that. All right. Got to put these away. Put some more cheese on here. Extra, extra cheese. All right, so that's all done. Put this in the toaster oven. Get rid of this. I need to get one of those pie trays. I don't have another one. Okay, so we will bake this at about three for about 10 minutes. Okay, there we go. I should have a pizza in a few minutes. I should have a pizza in a few minutes. I'm not going to have y'all sit here and watch it cook. That would be like insane. Yes, that would be insane. Wouldn't it? All right, in a minute, guys, in a minute. Okay, you guys, here's my perfect little pizza for lunch today. Just a little pizza, about the size of a personal pan pizza. Not with a thick crust or nothing, a thinner crust. So that's what I'm going to have for lunch. Just gotta slice it up and eat it and enjoy it. And I will get back with you guys in a bit. Later. Later, later. Alright, you guys. I'm so bored that yesterday I forgot to open up my fortune cookie at the restaurant. So Nathan asked me if I'd open a fortune cookie and I said no. So I think I'm gonna open a fortune cookie and see what my fortune is. I've been wondering what numbers to play on the lottery. Everything else that's ever happened. So a fortune cookie. In life, I might as well. I might as well. Okay. My fortune says, faith is a law. That is not a fortune. The other says, how about another fortune? Secondfortune.com. It gives me my lucky numbers. But this is not a good fortune. Faith is law. That's just a statement. How is that? How is faith is a law? How is that a fortune? Nathan, my fortune cookie sucked. What? My fortune cookie sucked. I don't like this fortune cookie. Want a piece of fortune cookie? Hmm? Want a piece of fortune cookie? Gracie's like, where's my piece of fortune cookie? Want a piece of fortune cookie? Alright. I always thought fortune cookies would be good sprinkled over top of ice cream. Maybe I should start saving my fortune cookies to sprinkle on top of ice cream. But I don't go to Chinese that often enough to get enough fortune cookies to do that. And they won't give you an extra one. No more. All gone. No more. All gone. No more, babies. All right. So, do I play the lottery numbers on this? But it wasn't a good fortune cookie. Good fortune. Faith is a law. 
faith is a law. That's just a stupid statement in a way. I mean, you should have faith or not have faith, but it shouldn't be a law. Because then it takes away what faith is. I guess, I think. It takes away the fact that faith is something you believe in. Not that I don't believe in the law. Don't, don't get me wrong, people. Don't get me wrong. Don't read into this the wrong way. Oh, and I gave Nathan a fancy hammer, okay? I picked these up at Lowe's, I guess. But I did not realize if you unscrew them. See, I'm bored out of my wits, guys. Because I'm sharing you. I'm like, if you unscrew the hammer, there's this little notch in it and a magnet to hold a nail. Now, this would have come... Oh, got an itch. This would have come in handy when we were nailing up some nails the other day. This little gadget would have come in handy. Yeah, it would have. See it? There we go. So I had two of them. And I think I got them because they're a lightweight hammer for when I start um, doing my tin punching. Because you want a lightweight hammer. If not, my hand gets heavy. My hand gets sore from the heavy hammer. And my hand will, my hand will start to feel heavy. So, um, I gotten it to do the tin punching with. Because I want my hammer to be as light as possible. So that when my hand starts to get tired, my arm starts to get tired, I'm not hitting harder. So, that's why I gotten it. Because it's just a four ounce little hammer. It says Lowe's on the side, but it's made in China. Okay, for those of you who have issues about buying overseas, Lowe's... Has their hammers made in China? I don't care. It's gotta be made somewhere, and it is what it is. Now Nathan's Nathan's fortune yesterday was happiness lies in the joy of achievement and the thrill of creative efforts. See, Nathan got to choose which one he wanted, and he chose this one. He says, "I think I got your fortune by mistake." I said, no, you open up yours and you got your fortune. Not like the girl who handed him a cookie and handed me a cookie and he swept cookies with me. It's just the luck of the draw. So, I don't know. I don't know, people. I don't know what to do with myself today. He's up and about, but I don't know if he wants to go get a shelf yet. Hmm. See? That's, a, that's an inquiring idea. Nathan would go get a shelf or not. And we could put a shelf up in the art room. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Tomorrow we got to go to town. I got to take care of some business. I got to find a FedEx somewhere. So I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to do with myself right now. I don't really want to watch TV. I've made this. I've made messes and already done dishes. I've done laundry. I could sweep the house, but I know they're going to track in so much mud on Wednesday. It's like, why put in the effort to sweep today when I got to sweep in two days? Does that make sense? So, I don't know. Gracie's all over the place. She's got her hair everywhere. I guess I could cut up cans today. There's a lot more red cola cans in the can bin. A lot. This Nathan's preferred flavor is cola. So, I don't know. I've been nursing this one since lunch. And it is now almost 4 o'clock. So, I've been nursing this soda for the last 3 hours? 4 hours? So, I finally finished that one. The snow has melted some, but we still have lots and lots and lots of snow on the ground. So hopefully it's, it melts some more tomorrow so that there is no issue with the movers on Wednesday. The only issue is where to put our vehicles. I don't have the biggest driveway. I have a long driveway, which you could probably squeeze four vehicles in if you squeeze them in. So I can only have two visitors. Two, only two for now. Hmm. Right, I'm going to let y'all go for now because I don't know what else to say to you. 
I don't know what else to do. Thought about painting my chicken lamp. Thought about getting out some craft paints and paint my chicken lamp. But I don't know. Uh, in a bit. All right, you guys, welcome back. Today is Tuesday the, I don't know anymore. 23rd. 23rd. And we're going into town to take care of some paperwork. We got to mail Nathan's W-2 back to Florida. So his dad could do his taxes. And I decided, I picked up a little bit of makeup the other, yes, the other day. And I decided to put on a little makeup. I don't know who I'm driving with. I decided to put on a little makeup. So Nathan comes in my room and says, because he came to check on me because I said I was getting dressed. So we could go in town. And he walks in the room and he peeks in the room. Right. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. I'm sitting on his charger. And he says, here, but... Oh, you're getting gussied up. I said, yeah, I never know if I'm going to see Bubba when I'm in town. So, I got gussied up. And then he says to me, and you're going to put a mask on. And I thought, oh, crap, I'm going to put a mask on. So, I almost took off the makeup. But then I thought, no, I'll leave the makeup on. So, that's what I did. I left the makeup on. So, we're going to wait and see if it gets all over the mask today. I didn't bring the tube of lipstick with me because I figured it's going to get all over it. So, why you worry? But I think I look nice. Yeah, you do. I do. I think I look nice. So, we're going into town. See you on a bit. All right, you guys. This is what my Florida boy is doing. My Florida boy is trying to scrape away some extra ice and stuff. Icy snow that has not melted yet. So that we don't slip and fall going out of this back door. It's not case because the rest of the the rest of the yard is actually thawing out. It's melting. Okay, nobody's behind him. You wanna come see what he's doing? Can you see what he's doing, Gracie? Yeah, Just be careful. Most of it. Yeah. A good bit of it right there. Just be careful that window when you start your elbow going backwards. That, look? that looks better. This is slushy that well. I don't know if table salt would work or not. But how much do we have? I have a couple containers of it. I just don't know. He's gonna slip on he's gonna slip and I'm gonna watch him slip. That's probably a little less slippery now. Right. That stuff right there, that's slippery. That stuff in front of him. I'm not really worried about that so much. Oh, no. Look at it. It's, just, it's not snow, it's ice. Yes, it's ice. It's melted down snow that's turned into ice. There are a few things on this porch we need to throw away. But before we could get on the porch and throw some stuff away when we got here, it immediately started getting cold and wintry, and I couldn't get some stuff thrown away. Like that rusted paint thing. I burned up a hot water heater thing right there. She almost set us on fire. No, I did not almost set us on fire. I'm in my, I'm calmly in my room gaming, and all of a sudden I hear, fire, fire. Some broken jars on the table because they froze through the snow when I was in Florida the first time around. I don't know if the bucket's burnt or not. Uh -huh. There we go. That's what I was doing. Trying to get it so we could open the door again. That's a little bit better. 
And I think that the rest of that will melt. Oh, it'll melt in a day or two. Yeah. But I'm saying now, it will, now the rest of this will just melt real quick. Does it still go in the stream? Yes. Yeah, I wish y'all could hear that. Somebody's got a fire going. Do you smell it? Or is it us? It's not the remains of that. That's, that that's, might be st us. that's still simmering. Smoldering? Yeah. Okay, then it's us. A little bit at the bottom. We burned some stuff today. Be careful not to punch a hole in my buckets. It was weird. I know, they're frozen. No, no it was like, it was frozen over, but it melted under, but it melted frozen under. Yeah. You can hear, it sounds like a stream going. Is it really rushing? Because it sounds like it's really rushing. You don't have to go out there. I think it is. I'm not going to go out there. I got my, my walking walk thing. Sounds like it's deep. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a flowing. It's a flowing? It's a straight up babbling brook. Babbling brook. It's a babbling brook. Where do you want to put the compost pile started? You want to put it along that fence line? Or do you want to put it over on the other side of the property? We, can put it right on we need a flat. <laughs> we need a flat spot to put it. To start the compost bin. And I don't want it near the fire pit in case we put a patio thing around that. So the only choice is along that fence line up there or on the other side of the house, on the other side of that little ditch, that little creek. Is that a well? That's a cistern. It used to be a well. A well is like a cistern. But yeah, it's a well. Okay. But I don't know if it, that doesn't work. Yeah, that old cistern pump does not work. And I'd have to get somebody out here to repair the concrete around it but yes it's an old cistern they busted the pipe going to the house when they dug that ditch that creek the rest of the way because mm -hmm. there's a creek up back that way guys there's a creek back there but it had kind of stopped and then when the creek behind my property overflowed, the water would come down and hit the house so what they did was they picked up the creek bed that stopped up there and then they dug it deep right here to make a and now it's starting to look like a natural creek again because it's um it's got rocks and everything in it from the water washing it down that's gonna need to be redone i need a new roof yeah. i need a new roof i need siding and i need the porches redone yeah. that's what i need to do to live in here for the rest of my life so that's my plans yeah. those are my goals to do the house there's a lot of things that need to be done but i'll get them done all right you guys all right, y'all got to see. Oh, look at Gracie. Gracie, girl, you just sitting there waiting for everybody to come back in. Are you just waiting for everybody to come back in? You don't know what doing, huh? You're like, why are you letting that cold air in, mama? All right, you guys. So, all right. Nathan got to play in the snow. We moved the vehicles for the movers tomorrow. I think dinner tonight is just going to be some leftovers and stuff. We got leftover spaghetti yet. We still have leftover sloppy joe. And I can pull out a soup or Nathan can fix himself a soup. It's just going to be an easy, simple dinner tonight. So, I'm going to say, if y'all like my videos, like and subscribe. Crazy, 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 crazy. And remember, enjoy the craziness of life because you might laugh about it when you tell a friend. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.